Hey everybody, what's up? It's John, aka Smelly Telly. I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana at more music and moreguitars.com. And look, I actually have a telly in my lap today, which is great, you know, because they are my favorite kind of guitars. I love all guitars, just so you know, but if I could only have one, it'd be a telly. And it's the telly very similar to this. My number one actually is a 51 Nocaster. And this is pretty darn close to that. So this is the American original Telecaster 50s. And it's uh, almost 100% spec to you know how they were in the 50s, except for one thing that we'll talk about. Um, as far as like the appointments, it, it's a telly. Like, there's no special switchings or locking tuners or anything like that. What you see is what you get, which is for a lot of us telly owners, that's all we need or want. Uh, we'll start up here. These are the uh, American Vintage Deluxe Tuners. I love these kind of tuners. If I can't have locking tuners, I love these. The ones that got the slots in them, so you cut the strings just right and put them in. I, I would never change the ones on my telly that, that, that are like this. I do love locking tuners, and I think that all guitars probably benefit from them, but on a telly, I love these. These are, to me, the best, the best that they do. So we get to the neck, and of course the neck is maple. Uh, it has the U shape, so it's kind of based off of early 50s dimension telly. So it's got a bigger neck. If you don't like big necks, you might not like this one, but if you do, this one feels awesome. It does have 9.5 radius, so that's the one thing that's a little bit different. The, you know, the actual 50s tellies, I can't remember what year they went to 9.5, but um, they were 7.25, which is just a little bit rounder uh, profile. Some people love that, some people don't love that, and then, like I was telling Larry, to me it doesn't really matter. If a guitar is good, it's good, whether no matter what the radius is or the frets. It does have vintage size frets on it, so they're smaller. Again, if you don't like small frets, this might not be for you, or if you're like me, it's like, doesn't really matter, <laughs> then this might be great for you. Um, it is nitrocellulose finish, so it does have that feel like, you know, I actually have played a, uh, I think it was a 53 when I was in Nashville that was in somebody's closet, and this is pretty much dead up, just exactly like how that one felt to me. Uh, we get to the body, it's an ash body. The pickups are what they call the American Vintage pickups, and they sound like telly pickups. Um, they've got the flat pole pieces like you would find on all the early tellies. you got a three-way selector. Now, they didn't go so far as to put in the weird bass-sounding circuit. The original tellies, when you were all the way up, the neck pickup by itself, I don't really know how to describe it. My no-caster came wired like that. Um, it's what I would call unusable. I think what they were going for was to have a real bassy sound so that guitar players could flip up to the neck position and cover bass lines, I think, is what he was going for. Um, for me, the only time I liked it is when I turned it all the way up and I turned on every single drive pedal I had, um, and then it sounded like a Les Paul uh, with the tone knob pulled back, which can be kind of a fun sound. Typically, though, <laughs> I like it just kind of more modern where it's just the sound of what you would hear from a neck pickup. And then, um, yeah, you just got a volume and a tone, and that's pretty much it. You have the brass saddles, which, again, some people might like a guitar, more modern guitar where you can individually kind of set each string. But I've never had any problems. Both of my tellies have brass saddles like this, and I don't have any intonation problems. And I am a believer that the brass saddles do have their own sound, which you kind of heard a little bit in the intro when I was just goofing around. There's something about them, and it's the, it's the thing about tellies that I love is the sound of these and the pick right next to them. You know, it gives you kind of that honky sound. <laughs> And of course, you can move farther up. And it's a little bit smoother. So we heard some dirty sounds, but let's go to the clean sounds for just a second. Um, it's a great sounding bridge pickup. I've said it probably numerous times in the videos. I'm actually, though I love tellies, I'm not a huge fan of telly neck pickups. This one sounds great. 
nice and full compared to the bridge. Uh, the bridge pickup, or sorry, the neck pickup, it's pretty full. You can get very mellow sounds. I see uh, actually a lot of jazz players. Check, t Tim Lurch, check out Tim Lurch if you can. Fantastic jazz teacher and player. He's always playing a telly, always. Very full sounding. Middle, you know, I guess you can get kind of funky. And then, of course, in the bridge is pretty much where I live with my telly. Let's go to some dirty sounds. You heard some of the bridge already. Middle position. I don't know if you're all seeing this, how close I picked down to the brass saddles. I, I think that's the sound of tellies is finding that right spot. Not too close because if you get too close, it, which is a sound that I use every once in a while when I'm wanting to make people laugh. And then we'll go to the neck pickup. thing that Larry was like, check out that neck pickup with the gain on it. It's just more, it's not so bassy sounding, it's just real full sounding. I don't care what anybody says, I say this, no one's ever gonna change my mind. You can do anything with a telly. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, Anything, you can do anything with the telly. The bridge pickup is too biting for you. Look at that. Telly lovers, help me out here. Just get in the comments and let everybody know why tellies are the best guitars on the planet. Why even our beloved Rob, telly, a telly hater now has a telly and he loves it. You know how I know? Because he keeps posting pictures of himself with it on social media with him hugging it and sleeping with it and kissing on it. <laughs> I told you so. That's all I'm going to say is I told you so. <laughs> Now, if this was my guitar, what I would, what, what I would do, I would turn this around. I would put my... I would flip it, put my volume here, tone here, and then selector down there so that I could reach it. It's a Bill Kirchin thing. I didn't come up with that. Um, and so now when I place another telly and I look down, it takes me a second to remember, oh, that's right. I always turn mine upside down. But other than that, I wouldn't change anything, you know. I would just play the crap out of it and, until all the frets are worn out and all the finishes wore off. So... Yeah, this is a cool guitar. This is awesome. Um, and you probably aren't gonna see many more like this, to be honest with you. So if you see this video and you're interested in it, you probably ought to give us a call as soon as you can. And hopefully we'll still have it in stock for you. Uh, if you're looking for that though, like what a tele is supposed to be, you know, how they were built, you know, and you don't 
necessarily need or want all of the appointments of something more modern, this is unbeatable, like unbeatable. And speaking of beating, you absolutely could take somebody out with this and not even go out of tune. So not saying, not saying to do that. Sometimes you're out and sometimes, you know, you, these, these are fantastic self-defense. I'll just put it that way. <laughs> and I made Larry laugh, so that's awesome too. So I'm not promoting violence. Don't smell me, but don't anger me either at the same time. So, all right. If you have any questions about this guitar or anything else that you've seen that we've put up, you can call down here, talk to one of our fantastic sales associates, or you know, contact us online, or you can ask some comments, you know, ask in the comments section, we'll try to get to you. And I really, really can't say this enough. These are the best guitars. Tell these are the best guitars. So, you know, I'm not trying to start a civil war or anything, but I'm squarely in that camp. So my name is John. You can call me Smelly. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next video.